Ladies and gentlemen, there is a word in Greek. Telo ikao, telo okmingato, which simply translates to power is grabbed. Power is never given. Raila Mulodinga waited for President Hurumwe Kenyatta to give him power. And that has failed. William Ruto understood that power is never given. That power is grabbed. And the Supreme Court today made its ruling. And William Ruto is now the President of the Republic of Kenya. In this video today, I want us to look at why Raila Mulodinga lost the 2022 presidential election and the Supreme Court petition. Because if you compare the 2017 election and the 2022 election, this election was so easy for Raila Mulodinga. And if you look at the petition, the 2017 petition and the 2022 petition, this one was even much easier for Raila Mulodinga to win. But he lost all of them. So which means today, William Ruto is celebrating his win twice. He celebrated on the 9th, I mean on the, on the 15th when Fula Chibukati declared him the president-elect. And again, William Ruto celebrated the same. Today, and his team are going to celebrate. And there is one thing which I can assure you. After the declaration today, expect William Ruto to complete 10 years in office. Then after William Ruto, expect another Kikuyu or, or, or uh, Rigadi Gashagwa to take over unless a revolution is going to be occasioned. Because one thing I know for sure is that William Ruto is a populist politician and therefore he might make some decisions which in the long run might affect his regime. So I want to take this opportunity to congratulate William Ruto for being declared the president-elect, I mean for the president of the Republic of Kenya. Personally, I've always been uh, supporting Raila Molodinga and I don't want to... I don't want to lie. I had believed and hoped that Raila Odinga was going to be declared the president of the Republic of Kenya. But that has not happened. In this video, let us look at the reasons why I truly believed Raila, why I truly believe Raila Odinga failed to win the presidency. The first reason why Raila Odinga failed, in my view, is the collapse of NASA. If you look at the 2022, I mean, the 2017 election results, it was very clear that Raila Odinga won that election. But it was with this team. So the only thing Raila Odinga needed after entering the handshake with the Uhuru Kenyatta was to retain the NASA brigades and maybe win the support of Uhuru Kenyatta the way as he had done. And probably the one million votes from the, from the mountain would have added. The truth of the matter is that William Ruto succeeded because of the collapse of NASA. Wetangula delivered the winning votes to Ruto. And that's why personally I strongly believe that Wetangula is going to be a very powerful individual in William Ruto's government. Without Wetangula, I don't think Ruto would have managed to be declared the president of the Republic of Kenya. So I don't know who persuaded Raila Odinga to ignore Wetangula and also to ignore Muselem Davadi. Of course, he could have ignored Muselem Davadi, but Wetangula, he needed Wetangula because Raila Odinga can actually, he has proved and even proved in the last election that he can go to Western without Mudavadi, but he can't go to Bungoma without Wetangula. So the collapse of NASA, and I was just talking to someone that assuming Muselem Davadi, I mean, Kalozo Musioka, who was also one of the co principals in NASA, assuming Kalozo Musioka had not joined Raila Odinga, maybe he went alone. Do you think we would even be talking about this Supreme Court ruling? I don't think so. Raila Odinga would have been humiliated. So the collapse of NASA actually marked the end. It's the main cause of Raila Odinga's failure. He had thought that Wetangula and the rest would uh, work, and he had also overrated the influence of President Uhuru Mwekenya. So that's number one. Number two, and this one here, I talked about it severally on this platform, Wafula Chebukati. If there's one reason why Raila Odinga failed in this election, it is because of Wafula Chibukati. I have always opined that Wafula Chibukati was working very closely with William Ruto to ensure that Raila Odinga does not become the president of the Republic of Kenya. Immediately Raila Odinga entered into the handshake with the president Uhuru Kenyatta, 
he ought to have engineered electoral reforms. If you had electoral reforms, Wafula Chibukati would have gone home. Wafula Chibukati and the two other commissioners were part of the previous commissioners. So they understood the operations of IBC. They understood the rulings in the last election. So they ensured that the rigging in this year's elections went smoothly and they covered every track. So that if you listen to the ruling, it's kind of Wafula Chibukati is a hero. While in real sense, this election was rigged. Those are the facts. But Wafula Chibukati didn't want Raila. And therefore, he, he aided Ruto. Raila Odinga failed. I'm, I'm, I'm just sad that Raila Odinga will not be able to, to see certain things in this country. But of course, even the petition, you could tell. I'm, I'm looking at some of the lawyers of uh, Wafula Chibukati, the way Wafula Chibukati was prepared for this particular petition. In fact, this petition has been won by IBC, not even Ruto, because they were able to actually persuade the judges. So Wafula Chibukati is the other reason why Raila Odinga failed in his bid, and therefore I don't think Raila Odinga will have another chance of becoming the president of the Republic of Kenya. Number three in my view is Form 34B, Book 2 of 2. You see, when Raila Odinga I mean, when uh, the IBC invited interested parties to go to Greece to oversee the printing, they noted that there was presence of Form 34B, Book 2 of 2. The mistake they did was to allow that Book 2 of 2 to go to the field. That Book 2 of 2 is an authentic IBC booklet. Now, it went outside there, and based on the recount which was conducted that book which the Supreme Court judges failed to acknowledge most of them were not there and I'm persuaded to believe that that book two of two is what was used to change the numbers because you see it's, it's simple what, I, what the Supreme Court wanted to prove is that the forms which were on the portal were similar to the forms which were submitted to the IBC so if you have book two of two it means you can use book two of two after the results are announced you use book two of two post it, then you submit the same book to IBC. And the moment Raila Odinga and the team failed to take action when Ofulache Bukati appointed 19 Kalenjins to oversee the elections, that's where he lost this election. So book two of two was specifically delivered to specific, specific polling centers. So I tend to think that Raila Odinga maybe over trusted the system or maybe he was overconfident, or maybe he believed that the deep state was going to take charge of everything. So that's the third reason why Raila Odinga failed. Number four is the deep state. You see, if we've been following Raila Odinga's politics, he's always been uh, that pro-people. Uru Kenyatta and William Ruto's government actually failed <laughs> in this country. So the fact that Uru and Ruto's government failed, Raila Odinga joined it, and he started taking the blames for the failure of that of that government but Raila Odinga and his secretariat believed that the deep state was going to do everything possible to protect Raila Odinga for me if for example deep state is real and there's a say that the state never misses its target if it misses then it's by design so probably maybe we Uru Kenyatta just wanted Raila Odinga to retire with him he was not keen on uh, William Ruto going home, but the deep state is what failed Raila Odinga. His over-dependence on the deep, deep state. How comes Raila Odinga did not have agents? Because he believed that someone somewhere was going to help him with the, with the agents. So I tend to think that the deep state is the main reason, again, why Raila Odinga failed. At some point I was told that um, Fred Matiangi <coughs> was not keen on Raila Odinga's presidency. Why? Because when uh, Raila Odinga appointed the initial cabinet, where Joho was land minister, where Joho was land minister, then we had um, Munya, minister for agriculture, or Paranya, minister for finance. Matiangi was not very happy that he was being left out. He probably thought that he, was, he should have been considered amongst those. So he started sending fillers to the other side. And you see, the government has failed in so many ways, including the police. 
And that's why you saw that police officer actually celebrating when William Ruto was declared the president. So I blame the deep state. Number five is the lethargic secretariat. You know, I've always reminded you on this platform that I participated in Raleigh Odinga's presidential campaigns in the last election. This one, I couldn't understand the way it was operating. You'd call everybody to even seek for information you wouldn't get. There was complete confusion in that secretariat. Why are you missing this? How comes we never had agents? Simple as that, agents. In the last election, let me tell you how it was structured. In the last election, Raleigh Odinga had a presidential, a presidential campaign. Below it, there was the county coordinators, there was the constituency coordinators, there were the ward coordinators, and then there were the polling st station. So that on the day of the voting, the moment votes were cast and the, the, the results announced, by law they are supposed to take photos. They took photos of the forms and then sent those photos in their WhatsApp group at the lower level there. Then from there, it would go up to the constituency immediately to go to the county, immediately to reach the, it will reach the presidential campaign. And that's why it was easy for these guys to identify the mistakes. In this particular presidential petition, Judge Kome is saying that they couldn't find anything. I mean, nobody was able to prove that the results which were announced at the polling stations did not match the results which were announced at the county level. I mean, at the presidential portal, IBC portal. So it simply means that the secretariats were lethargic. Most Kenyans, especially those who support Raila Odinga, were not happy on that particular day when Raila Odinga was actually, sorry, when there was the announcement of results at Bomas. Raila Odinga's secretariat was busy laying red carpet at KICC. What was the need of that red carpet? For me, it was not necessary. And lastly, I also tend to think that one of the biggest failures of Raila Odinga is the Six Peace campaign, especially in Nyanza. You know, right now, those who Raila Odinga was campaigning for to win their seats, the Six Peace, they are in. Some are MPs, some are MCs, some are senators, some are governors. Where is Raila Odinga now? He's lost. Assuming Raila Odinga didn't advocate for the Six Peace in Nyanza, in any other place, even in coastal region, the turnout would have been a bit higher. It's projected that over 700,000 voters did not turn up in Nyanza to vote for Raila Odinga because of that Six Peace campaign. Six Peace won Raila Field. Majority of the people I spoke to in the village were telling me that, Lee, you know, let me just use this to address the Luo Nation. They used to tell me, Lee, in Eone, six pieces of the Mangen, Korosani, where I labo they. Simply to, to mean that they voted for six pieces several times, but six pieces has never failed. I mean, they voted for six pieces severally, but Raila Odinga has always failed. This time around, they were willing to vote for Raila Odinga, even if the six piece was going to fail. But Raila Odinga and the team went down, persuaded them that six piece was the right thing because he needed them to help him. Where are they now? So for me, I think Raila Odinga lost this election because not because of the votes, because if it's votes, I think and I'm persuaded to believe that Raila Odinga has those votes. He lost it because of the way the campaigns were run, the collapse of NASA, or Fulachi Bukati was determined to ensure that Raila Odinga is nowhere near the presidency, the, the, the Form 34B book to of two. Why did they allow that book to go outside there? If that book had not gone outside there, if Raila Odinga and the team had insisted that book two of two was not leaving the port, it was going to be securely somewhere, I'm sure we would not have been in this state. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Thank you guys. And please, may you have a good day once again. Let me congratulate William Ruto and the team for a good fight. We live to fight another day. My only regret is that probably we will not live to see Raila Odinga leading this country. But of course, Riyadi Gashagwa is now the deputy president. I don't know how I'll even tell my friend from Tanzania or anywhere that I'm going to accept Riyadi Gashagwa as a, as a deputy president because he's someone I really don't think deserves that post, but he's been now elected. The other day I saw him accusing Raila Odinga of delaying the increment of uh, the salary of uh, police and every other thing. So now they have the opportunity to do that. 
we also hope that just like he promised Kenyans that they're going to reduce the cost of unga to 100 bob, let us wait and see so that they don't start blaming President Ruth Kenyatta. Let us wait to hear what the president will address, I mean, the president addressed to the, the nation. Also, Raila Odinga probably will be addressing the nation. But my next video would be on what next for Raila Amolo Odinga. Thank you, guys. And please, may you have a good day. Bye-bye.